That can stay. Let me just recharge some of these batteries whilst we're in the area. Mm, not much else really to do there, is there? Sea Glide, they, they power up as I'm going anyway, so I don't need to worry about those. Drop those in there. I've got spare batteries in the uh, in the truck anyway. You know it's hot when you sit in the shade and continue to just sweat. Yeah, that's the trouble with humid heat. Is you can't escape it. You hate the heat so much. I quite like it. I like those red hot days. Well, we consider them red hot when it gets like 28 to 30. I, I enjoy that. Um, I like being out in that. The rest of my family don't. So, uh, I don't know. I'm just, just weird, I suppose. Uh, let's see. So, if I take three diamond. I'm fairly sure I've got those bits in. But I'm going to make sure because I've got space to carry it. A plasteel ingot. Yep, take that. I mean, if I'm going down there to make stuff. Then I don't need to worry about leaving things here. We've got the green thing in there. We've got the gel sacks. We've definitely got uh, one of those fibery things. We've got food. We've got food for days. I keep thinking that's something, but it, it isn't. Not that we need it at the moment. If I go down there and build this thing, and he says, oh yeah, by the way, now you need one of these, one of these, one of these, I'm going to be somewhat upset, because he could have told us that before we set off. Nothing there. Last check. Uh, I'll take... What do we need? Two of those. Pretty sure I've got them in there, but... And take two of those. I, I've got these just in case we may need to make any table, coral, computer chips, anything like that. I'll take a gold as well. Pretty sure I don't need it. Not taking chances. Get that to get the water supply up. Um, eat the last few nuts. No. I want... Tip for base building. Don't build anything right next to a, a flipping unit like that. Right then, we are maxed out on food. Let me go. We'll just go and make sure we've got everything we need in the truck as well. And then there's one item that we need. This is empty. Oh, it's got some more nuts in. We'll take that as well. Yeah, the UK normally does pretty bad for heat. It's done really bad this year until June. And then it just changed. It was like... Last two days in May, beginning of June. Complete different country. You, you wouldn't believe it. May was such a pathetic, pathetic time. You like the cold? Because you can always put more clothing on. That's true. That is true. You can always warm up. Um, it depends what you're doing as well. I mean, if you're sat, in a, if you're sat around, even with more clothing on, you never seem to generate much heat, I don't think. If you're working in the cold, that's different. That's uh, That could be quite nice. I've got to say, though, it's, it's quite nice to have different seasons to some extent rather than having the same conditions all year round. Just uh, makes things a little bit different. All right, put the scanner away. So we've got a power cube there. I think I've got whatever I need. But I am going to make sure that the last weird thing... We've got lots of power cubes, actually, and power cells and batteries. We, we're pretty good. We're pretty good for stuff. It's that and that. And then the thing that we're having trouble with, we need one more of those. And then we can make everything we've got here. That That is superb. And we can also fit it in. Right, so let's go and find. What do I not need? I don't need those on me or these table coral things either. I do need that. I'll swap over for that and take that out and I can drink it. Put that in there. So I've got a good st stock of stuff. The gold I don't actually need on me. Let's see if there's any room left. <laughs> there's no room. I even have a computer chip with us. I've obviously foreseen this particular issue. We'll eat these as we go and make some space. <laughs> 
Actually, I don't know about the Dark Age, but uh, around about the 11th century, um, or maybe earlier than that, maybe the Roman times, the UK was, was generally warmer and milder because it used to have quite a, a good wine industry. I mean, it's got a wine industry now, but um, that's all based in the south where the, uh, the milder, warmer, more consistent weather conditions are. Uh, there's not much in the way of grape growing goes on in the north, apart from a few specialists who try to grow them in greenhouses and, and uh, in heated locations. People grow olives in the UK? I didn't know that. I didn't know they ever grew olives over here. Marguerite's base is down there. I'm going to hope we find these root pustules on the way. I don't know where I got them from, but I do know I got them from somewhere around the base because I, I've seen them since very early on in the game. Batteries are going flat in the base, obviously. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's the extreme weather conditions we need to worry about these days with the climate change, the, the longer droughts, the more severe winters, the floods. God, the floods everywhere. I think every country's probably experienced floods around the world. Um, and then drought as well. Like, in the UK, we'll have, like, the harshest winter, the coldest winter, followed by the driest winter, and then the wettest summer and floods and these these are all starting to come on a lot more and it is uh, worrying the biome oh we're going to the red crystals yeah where's the um where where which biome do i find these root pustules in do let me know because i i can't remember where i picked them up i remember seeing them all over the place it's in the kelp caves Alright, that doesn't actually help me anywhere. Which ones are the kelp caves? Give me a, a location that I would I would find in there. Pennsylvania's tourism brochure should say it's the only place you can get frostbite, sunburn, and heat stroke in the same day. Sounds a lot like Scotland, to be honest. I'm above kelp, so down here then. Cheers, let's see. There's uh, anywhere I can find a cave, eh? That looks like it's going back towards the twisty bridges or whatever you call them. But having said that, mm, there's some weird stuff growing up the side of there. This does look like twisty bridges though, doesn't it? Turn around. I think I was close to where I was before. Aha, kelp. Let's go check that out over there. Judging by the number of people in chat today, which is awesome, I don't think my viewer count is right on Twitch at the moment, although that, that often doesn't update as it's, uh, as it's supposed to. Hmm, this looks... Uh, right, let me just take... I'm going to take a swim down here. Because these look like roots to me. This, oh, thank you, thank you, game, for blowing me up. This does look, aha, here we go. Now then, we've got everything we need. I'm going to take one spare, because you never know. I might mess it up. It has happened before. Twitch isn't giving you enough points. I know, I, I, I will forget to drink without you here. <laughs> Luckily, it seems you have uh, started the cult of hydrating Mark. So cheers, Searson, this time. Who would have thought such a simple feature would have been so popular? <laughs> Make Mark take a drink. Yeah, it has a cool down. Ah, I, I foresaw that. 
I foresaw what you lot would try to do with that. <laughs> I know what my chat is like. Okay, so we're going to Marguerite's base. Which then leads on to the Red Caves of Doom. Which I can now uh, navigate down, even in the prawn suit. Although, I don't know. I mean, whether whether I need to take the prawn suit is another matter. But... Um, I probably not want to take the entire sea truck down there. I've got the ingredients. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we get up to. Yeah, uh, Brian Cox is great on his um, his space talks. I've watched some of those. Thing is, though, if you start watching those, you very quickly start to feel very insignificant, and then start questioning what is the point of human existence. Especially when you you know you, you see the news and it's all people killing each other, and uh, companies striving for profit at the extent expense of the planet and the population and everything else. And you think, what what are we doing? When you look at the the big picture with space, the vastness of the universe, and the tiny speck that we are that will one day be scrubbed out, it it all feels <laughs> quite overwhelming. But it's very interesting stuff. Right, so I remember having a bit of a job finding the entrance to this last time. I did stumble across it eventually though, so we'll have a look around. Because what I've done is I've marked her cave, her base rather, rather than the particular entrance to it. Pretty sure it ain't from swimming down there. Was it this? I don't think that was it. Big cave, it might be. I don't think it's the one I want. I mean, I'm far too shallow here, actually. We need to move into deeper water for the size of this sub. Oh, here we go again. Go on, blow me up. I thought that thing might have caught me up, actually. You didn't make any new signals? Just use the default ones? I've, uh, I've made quite a few. Oh, God. I really find it hard to see out of this damn thing and it's even harder when it's um why not change the color there's the purple crystal stuff is that the base that's the red crystals so if we follow where her base is where's her base marker mm, this could be a nice big i can't actually see where her base marker is it must be is that it excellent okay we must be uh getting the getting over there then there's the, the wrecked ship. Hang on, let's, let's charge this up. The afterburner, which does nothing. Well, it might do something if uh, I didn't have all these sections of the ship attached on the back. Right, where are we? There's a cave entrance somewhere, I think. Oh, I'm just going to charge up the perimeter defence. Something's on me. Could this be it? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I should have marked the entrance. It's, it's, this is all my own fault. I never had enough beacons with me at any one time. You know where I am and where I'm heading? Wish I did. Well, I know where I'm heading. I know where I want to be. Once I'm in there, I, I think I'm okay. It's just finding the... Uh, 
finding the entrance. Well, there's something deep and nasty. This is the... Is this the vent gardens? Okay, we've, we've come off track a little bit here. I've only been here a couple of times in the game, so... There's the red crystals. That's where we're going. There's the purple crystals. And there's Marguerite's base, which is not very far off, but this isn't the way down. Yes, I know I'm not heading where I want to head. I just can't remember. There's, there's a... There's an entrance in. And I don't know which side of this great big clump it is. I'd give anything to be able to build a map in this game. Anything at all. I mean, even just, as I've said before, if you just manage to smear it on the inside of your cockpit using your own feces, that, that would do. I'd be happy with that. I don't need anything special. It just has to be some sort of map. Red crystals, Marguerite's base. Let's take a look down here. There's, there's a way in somewhere. Also, my old truck's a bit slow at the moment. Mm, I'm going to guess it's not this, but... Could I be wrong? Okay, I do remember coming out and seeing this sort of uh, scenery. So let's take a little look around. Have I deleted all the default signals? Um, no, I won't have deleted them. There'll be one for an alien uh, base, won't there? That, that's kicking around. That's in a similar sort of location. This thing ain't steering so well at the moment because I've got so much train on the back of it. Ow. Delta Station Dock. Okay, this looks like I might be on track now. When we get there, I'll just nip out and repair this truck before we go any further. <laughs> Thanks, Tiger Faust. I was just feeling like I could do with a drink. Yeah, pilot's last position. That is the one that leads to Marguerite's base. I turned them all off when I was um, scanning around for other locations. I guess there were just some of them getting in the way a little bit. Fix the points. What what did that need? Just a, a refresh of the stream or something? Because we can't have you running out of points. Exit Twitch app. Ah, okay. Gartag, I am fine, thanks. How about you? Are you over that uh, that man flu yet? Oh, you should be on the men by now, I hope. Ouch, ouch. Right, let's let's jump out. Fix this up. Save the game, actually. I'll save it after the repairs. Almost okay? Good, 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 good. Getting back to normal. I am I am pleased to hear it. Is that Will or Will? Will one EDC. Uh, my day's going pretty well, thanks. Sorry, I couldn't quite make out the name. It's, it's some of you guys, Gartag and someone else further up there they're, you're all using this like blue font which for some reason um it doesn't it won't hang on it won't show up on this watch it won't show up on this it'll look at a different color on this so this is what the Streamlabs thing oh it is showing up on that okay that's, that's interesting it doesn't always match the same color on there uh, like tiger faust a different color on there i don't know why that is but anyway that that blue messes with my um dark mode on chrome that i used to read and i don't know why that is I have no idea. It's really hard to read. Yours is not blue. <laughs> I'm going to blame dark mode or chrome then. Oh, thank you for the uh, thank you for the follow, Will. Right, we should be good to go. 
now we're going to save the game. Uh, we shall eat some of these. We'll take one of those, and one of those, and another one of those. Why not? And we did we save it? I mean, we have now. You think it's purple? It's kind of weird how all these things interact and interpret the colours and stuff differently. I've never understood it. Uh, so we we want don't bang this off everything now, Mark. Come on, you've got it nicely repaired. Red crystals in that direction it says, but I go in via the blue. Okay, so the blue. So we're going this way. Down we go. Well, I say we're going this way. We can go down this way. We don't necessarily go in there. <laughs> Everyone arguing over the colour of each other's chat now. I mean, mine, it appears red to me. Tell me what that looks like to you. I mean, I picked it for the red. But then I don't know if it'll look the same in, like, Twitch apps and everything else. You see it as red? That's that's one. That's a, that's a good thing. No one's trying to troll me at the moment. That's That was a missed opportunity. Set the colour in the settings, you're good. If not, it's random. It's The, the weird thing is, though, that it, it shows up differently in different uh, browsers or browser sources, which is um, it's a bit funky. Let's see. Hang on, if I switch back to, to that. Let me see if anything looks different. So, yeah, mine looks red. Actually, that looks about the same this time. Apart from Tiger, Tiger Faust looked different earlier. And someone's now black. <laughs> black, I don't know. There's Tiger Faust. Yeah, Tiger Faust looks... It looks orange on there but on my my um stream manager chat thing it looks like a, a olive green sort of color so i i don't know i i obviously they're interpreting the color code or the hash differently it's an odd thing a very odd thing indeed can't seem to add your improvement mark one to go deeper um have you got the mark one built oh in the c truck Where, where do you do it? Do you... Oh, I've jumped out there. Have you been into the little panel on here and put it in there? It should just go in there. And then the, the prawn suit, uh, obviously that's a separate thing on the back of the prawn suit. That is an unpleasant sound. Charge the batteries. I think I'm going to... Yep. There we go. Zapped him. I didn't even take any damage from that. He didn't even get to have a bite. Before I got my taser on him. I don't think the monsters in this are half as dangerous as they should be. That that sort of encounter should have me absolutely bricking it. And like trying to go silent running with the lights off and everything. Trying to avoid it. Trying to wait till it swum away before I, I dart from shadow to shadow. And I don't. I just don't care because I just have the batteries charged up and I zap him if uh, he plants his lips on my whatever. Yeah, see if you can get it to work. Uh, check my back. With the prawn suit one, apparently someone told me that you can only... I haven't tried this, by the way. Someone told me you can only access the, uh, the upgrades panel when the prawn suit isn't docked. But... Um, I mean, I did it was just sat on the bottom of the ocean, so I haven't tested it whilst it's docked to know if that's the truth. I agree, the sense of urgency and danger is, is not present in this. Um, there was definitely a sense of urgency in the first one, even though it wasn't a real sense of urgency because you didn't really have uh, that time limit. You could take all the time you wanted in the world, it didn't matter, but the story presented you with a sense of urgency and therefore you felt like you, you had to get it sorted. And I liked that. That was good. But it worked. It worked for both ways. Those who wanted to take the time and those who thought, Oh, God, I've, I've got to fix this. I've got to sort it out. And the hover, pipe, oh, hover bike part with the worms was a pain in the ass the first time I was driving around there. Then I got the prawn suit and just went overland in that and just killed everything. Didn't try it on the worms, though. And when I came back to go and do the bit with the, uh, the worms again to go and get the artifact from the, the 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 forest is it the arctic forest place 
Um, I didn't even get bothered by worms when I was on the bike then. So I don't know. It just they, they felt like a big letdown. And either way, you feel like you've got three lives. You feel like, oh, I can be attacked three times before I even have to worry about healing or repairing the bike or anything. So I've got plenty of opportunities. Hey, Halloween. Have I started a long haul business? It feels like a long haul business. It's going slow, is this thing. But I do have a lot of modules on it. Right, so we're in the red crystals. This is where I put my marker down. I don't think I've explored this. So we have a couple of possible locations to check out. Plenty of power, plenty of structure, so we're good. And we just need to find a deep, deep cave down here, I think. If I understand, this is like why we're going back out of it, aren't we? Okay, so this is the entrance then. Every time you heard a worm, it would just push me off a bike. Didn't do it every time on mine. But yeah, it was it was annoying. I should have taken the prawn suit up there to see if I could have drilled their faces off and killed them too. But I have a feeling they, they're they not on like spawns exactly. I feel like uh, there'd be like an infinite amount of worms. And it's just triggered by... Um, by just moving around up there. Those are curious looking things. They're worth a scan, do you think? What is that? Nickel? Curious crystal structures. Do we just go down? We're 800 metres. Can't see anything at the bottom down there. I'm thinking what I might do. I'm going to just, just reverse this a bit. I don't think I need the rest of the sea truck with me. So let me just uh, put this back up near the entrance. And I'm just going to take the little bit because then we can move a bit faster. So I'm going to go back to where my red crystals marker is and just abandon this here. So I don't think I need the prawn suit or anything else. And I've got enough materials with me. I think I've got enough food with me. Let's park this here. Looks good. Regular sub is great because of the Leviathan. The Leviathan makes me so mad it's not even funny. I miss the old Cyclops from the uh, first game. That was my one of my favourite vehicles. It was just it was just epic. Um, we have lots of water. I never seem to have quite as much food. Let me take from the food section that and a cured boomerang. Right, that should be enough food to go anywhere I want. And also, I'm going to do this because we never do this. I built this aquarium. Let's go and eat half the fish in there as one massive final last supper. Should be tasty. I think the Cyclops was a bit overpowered. I liked it. I felt like I was building like an epic uh, deep sea exploration vessel, which exactly what it was. And we went off and established new bases and found new worlds. I really, really enjoyed that. It was a good... Half the fun was uh, stocking it with everything you thought you were going to need to construct the base at the end of it. So when you got there, you just unpacked all the materials and got straight to work. And uh, I, I really, really enjoyed it. Right, eat that, 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 and that. Nice, a cured one doesn't go off at all. That's good. I don't, th well, I'm taking what I've got here. It looks like I've got three out of three, one, one, three, two, power core. Yep, I'm fine. I'm not duplicating anything there. We've got everything we need. Let's abandon those modules and go for it. The, the, the fish were there. They were like a mobile food supply. <laughs> uh, there's probably new stuff down here that I haven't... Uh, I might just go and scan that fella, actually. I don't think I've scanned those. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, it's a red feather fish. Yeah, I have scanned those. 